Okay, in this particular chapter, we'll talk about creating a connectivity between your GCP account and your AWS account. Now, this again has to deal with migration. So before we do migration between these two cloud platforms, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a VPN tunnel between them. So let's see how we can create a VPN tunnel between them. So what we need to do is we'll be creating a VPN tunnel between two VPCs. So we'll be using the default VPC in your G GCP account as well as the default VPC that is available in the AWS account. Now we'll start off by creating a VPN gateway in GCP. Now apart from this VPN gateway, we'll also create a router. Now this router will give us something called as an ASN number. Now this ASN number has to be shared with the customer gateway in AWS. So the VPN gateway will give us two IP addresses. Now these two IP addresses along with the ASN number, we will use to create two customer gateways in AWS. And after we've done that, we'll create something called as a virtual private gateway in AWS. And then after we've created both these objects, we'll create a VPN gateway. And after we've done both these, that is we've created the VPN gateway in AWS as well as in GCP, we'll create a tunnel between both of them with all the information that we have. Okay, so let's start off by creating a VPN gateway in GCP. So we'll be starting off by creating a VPN gateway and a router in GCP. So let's go ahead. Okay, the first thing that we'll go is we'll go to our GCP and underneath GCP, you can go to the hamburger menu. And in your hamburger menu, you can just click on your hybrid connectivity. And the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a router. So let's click on creating a cloud router. And let's click on create router here. Let's just give a name for our router. Let's just call this as AWS GCP router and we'll link it to the default network. Now, like I said, we'll be using the default network both in AWS as well as in GCP. And here, let's just make this in US Central one. And here's the important part of giving an ESN number. So let's just give this as 65000. Now this number we'll be using in our customer gateway at our AWS end as well. And let's just choose advertise all subnets and let's click on create this router. Okay, so we've created the router. So if we go back to the diagram, we have done with creating this particular router. So now let's create our VPN gateway in GCP. So let's go to our VPN gateway. It's again within your hybrid connectivity. Let's click on this. And let's click on creating a VPN connection. So we'll be choosing the high availability. And let's click on continue. So again, we need to give a name for our VPN gateway. Let's just call this as AWS VPN. GCP VPN gateway. Again, it's going to be linked to the default network. Let's click on the default and let's just keep this in US central one as well. And we'll be using an IP4. Let's click on this and let's click on create. So what this will do is it will create two IP addresses. And we'll be using those two IP addresses to create two customer gateways in AWS. Let's click on create. Okay, so once you've created this customer VPN gateway, you'll get these two IP addresses. So what we'll do is we'll copy these two IP addresses. Let's copy this into a notepad. So this is the first IP address and this is the second one. Let's copy this. And we'll be using this to create two customer gateways in AWS. And apart from that, we'll be also using the ASN number, which is basically 65000. Okay, so once we got this information, let's go back to our GCP console. Okay, so once we've got this information, let's go back to our AWS. And here in AWS, you can click on your VPC. And here within your VPC, you can go to your customer gateway, which falls within your virtual private network. Let's click on create customer gateway. And here let's create two customer gateways. Let's click on create customer gateway. And here the BGP ASN number is 65. 000, and let's just give one of these particular IP address. Let's copy this and let's paste it here. And let's create a first customer gateway. 
And similarly, we'll also create another customer gateway. Let's click on create customer gateway again. And here, what we'll do is we'll just give it the second IP address. And again, it's basically got the same BGP ASN number. And once we've done that, let's click on create customer gateway again. And now you can see that there are two customer gateways that are created. So once you've done that, let's click on virtual private gateway and let's create a virtual private gateway. Okay, before that, let's see what we've created. So within our AWS, the first thing that we've created is the customer gateway. So we've created two customer gateways. Now let's create the virtual private gateway. So let's click on create virtual private gateway. And here, all that you need to do is you just need to give a custom ASN number. So this custom ASN number is basically the ASN number at our AWSN. So let's just keep this as 65001. Now remember, this can't be 65000 because we've already allocated that. So let's just keep this as 65001. And that's it. So once you've done that, let's click on Create Virtual Private Gateway. Okay, so we've created a virtual private gateway as well as a customer gateway. So all that we need to do now is just create our VPN connection. So you can go to your site-to-site -site VPN connection. Let's click on this and just create a VPN connection. Let's click on create VPN connection. And here you have the target gateway. So the target gateway is basically your virtual private gateway. You can also connect it to a transit gateway. That's something maybe you can see in the later chapters. But for this chapter, let's connect it to the virtual private gateway. And let's select the virtual private gateway that we had created previously. And here you can choose the customer gateway. Now we've created two customer gateways. Now for this example, we'll be just using one customer gateway. Now similarly, we can create another VPN connection to make it highly available. And let's click on create. And now let's create a second VPN connection. So again, this second VPN connection would be connected to the same private gateway. Now the only difference here would be we'd be connecting it to the other customer gateway. So let's choose the other customer gateway that we've created. So we've created two customer gateways. And after we've done that, you can just click on create con VPN connection. Okay, so now that we've created two VPN connection, what we need to do now is create a tunnel between both of them. So you can go to the VPN one and here you can download configuration. So let's just download this configuration. And here, what you need to choose is the generic and make this as vendor agnostic and cl click on download. And similarly, well, let's go to the other VPN connection and let's open this and let's download this as well. Again, this is going to be the generic one. And click on download. Okay, so we've downloaded both the VPN configuration. Now let's go back to our GCP and let's create a tunnel between both of them. Let's go back to our GCP account. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to our VPN again and let's click on create VPN, peer VPN gateway. So let's click on this. And here what we need to choose is basically four interfaces. Let's click on these four interfaces and let's give a name before that. Let's just call this as peer VPN gateway. And what you need to do is just give the IP addresses of the VPN gateway. And what we need to give here is basically the IP address that we had got in our configuration file that we had downloaded. So let's go back to that configuration file. So these are the two configuration files that we had downloaded. Let's just open this. And here what we'll get is basically the configuration that IP address that we need to set over there. So what we need to set is basically IPsec one tunnel so here what we need to set is basically the outside IP address of the virtual private gateway. So this is the first outside IP address. Let's copy this and let's paste it here. Now similarly, let's paste the other tunnel. So let's paste the other VP, uh, IP address as well. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. Now, now these two are for the first VPN. Now let's open the configuration file of the second VPN as well. So let's go back to our downloads. So this is the second configuration for the second VPN. So let's open this and let's copy the virtual private gateways IP address as well. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. And similarly, the final IP address. So that is this IP address. And let's paste it here as well. So in total, we have four interfaces 
let's click on create now these two are for the first vpn in aws and these two are for the second vpn that we've created in aws let's click on create so after you've done that the last thing that we need to do is we need to create a tunnel between them to do that we can click on cloud vpn gateway and here what you see is something called as an add vpn tunnel let's click on this and here what you need to do is just select the peer vpn that we've just created let's click on this and here by default you see that there is basically create four vpn tunnels so this comes by default so there's nothing you need to do over here so you can just choose the cloud router that is the 65000 and here what we need to do is just give the pre-shared key between these four tunnels so there'll be four tunnels that gets created so all that you need to give is basically just the pre-shared keys between all of them and now let's look at the first connection that's between this ip address and this ip address so let's get the pre-shared key for these particular connections so let's go back to our documentation again so this is between 82 and 46 so again let's go back to our documentation and let's get that so this is the 82 and 46 so what we need to do here is get the pre-shared for this particular tunnel so the pre-shared key you will get at the top so what you need to do is you just need to copy this information let's copy this and let's paste it over here and we, let's give this as a name and let's just call this as tunnel one done and now let's configure the second tunnel as well so that is between 82 and 142 so now let's look at the 82 and 142 again it will be in the same documentation so this is 82 142 so what you need to do here is get the pre-shared key let's copy this and let's paste it there let's just call this as tunnel 2 click on done so let's make this as tunnel 3 and let's get the pre-shared for this now this is again between 192 and 67 so this will be in the other document so let's go to the other document so this is 192 and 67 so 192 and 67 the pre-shared key is this one let's copy this pre-shared key and let's paste it here let's click on done and finally the last tunnel let's just call this as tunnel 4 and let's get the pre-shared for this so the pre-shared for this is this so let's copy this and let's click on done and let's click on create and continue Okay, so final thing that we need to do is we need to configure our BGP, con BGP session between all these tunnels. Now let's do that one by one for each of the tunnels. So the first one is between 82 and 46. So again, let's go back to our configuration file that we downloaded from AWS. The first thing that we need to do is we need to click on configure BGP connection. Now this is between 82 and 46. Let's go to that 82 and 46. So this is our uh 82 and 46 so what we need to do here is we need to get this particular customer gateway and the virtual private gateways internal uh, inside ip address so we'll just copy this and what we need to do is again we first need to also mention the pri asn number now this is the asn number of our aws uh virtual private gateway so that is 65001 let's give this as a name so let's just call this as bgp1 and here finally what you need to do is we need to click on manual here and give that particular ip address so it's basically the customer ip address is our aws's ip address uh, so what we need to do is we just need to copy this and paste it here and similarly copy this particular virtual private gateways inside ip address let's copy this and let's paste it here and let's click on save and continue and similarly we need to do it for the other three as well now this is for 82 and 142 so let's click on configure again again let's go back to the 82 and 142 so let's go down so for 82 and 142 the 
these are the inside IP addresses. So let's again create call this as BGP2. Again, the peer would be 65001. So here we need to choose this manual and copy this information. Let's copy this. And let's copy this. And let's click on save and continue. And you can see for the first one that is a BGP that is established. So let's refresh this. And you can see that the BGP is established for the second one as well. And similarly, let's do it for the final two as well. So the final two is between the other VPNs that is between 199 and 67. Let's go to the second documentation. So between 199 and 67, these are the customer IP and the virtual private gateway. So let's click on configure. So let's just call this as BGP peer 3, BGP 3. Again, the ASN number would be 65001. And let's click on manual here. And let's copy these IP addresses. Let's copy this. Let's paste it here. Let's similarly copy this. Let's paste it here. Click on save. And let's do it for the final one as well. That is 192 and 100 and that is 199 and 115. So let's click on configure. Let's just call this as BGP4. Again, it's 65001. And let's manually copy this and let's get this information as well. So this is the customer gateway and this is the so let's click on save and continue so we finally created a connectivity between, between all four so let's refresh this and you can see that there is a bgp connectivity between all these ip addresses now let's go back to our aws and let's see whether it's been done there as well let's go back to our aws And let's go back to our VPN connection. And here, if you go to the VPN, you can see that your tunnels are up and running. So the, you can see that for both the VPNs, the tunnels are up and running. So the one final thing that we need to do is we need to go again to our v virtual private gateway. And one last thing that we forgot to do was we need to attach this to our particular default VPC. So you can just click on this virtual private gateway, click on attach and attach it to our particular VPC. So again, we have just one default VPC, click, click on that and attach to VPC. And after you've attached it to your particular VPC, one final step that you need to do is you need to go to your uh, route tables. And here you need to go to your route propagation. And here you can see that this propagation is currently disabled. So you can just click on edit route propagation, just enable this and click on save. So finally, okay, so finally we have connect, created a VPN connectivity between two VPCs. That is the default VPC in AWS and the default VPC in GCP. So one final step that we will do is we'll create an EC2 instance and that EC2 instance should be accessible in our GCP using just the private IP address. So let's create a EC2 instance. Let's click on EC2. So let's click on create instance. Let's click on launch instance. So we'll be choosing the Amazon uh, Linux free tier eligible. Let's click on this. Let's keep everything as default. So one final thing that we will be doing is we'll go to our security groups and we will just make the ICMP as available. So we should be using this particular security group. We should be able to ping this particular instance. So let's click on review and create. And let's create this particular instance. Let's click on launch. Now, similarly, let's also create an instance in GCP. So let's click on this particular, let's open this. And you can see that this is the private IP. So I should be able to create an instance in GCP and I should be able to ping this particular IP address. 
because th there's a connectivity between both the VPCs using VPN. So let's copy this and let's go to our GCP account. So here I'm in my GCP account. I have created a very simple instance. Let's SSH into this particular instance. So I've SSH into my instance. All that I need to do is I just need to ping for that particular instance. So let's see if I get a response back. And you can see that I'm getting a response back from my AWS EC2 instance. This is how you can create connectivity between your AWS and your GCP. Okay, so in summary, what we did was we created a VPN tunnel between the VPC network in our GCP and the VPC network in our AWS. Now, this is again the default VPCs in both GCP and AWS. And then we created instances in GCP and we created an instance in AWS. And then using just the IP address, that is the private IP address of the EC2 machine, I was able to create a connectivity between both these instances. So that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next.